Good morning. Good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. Um, I woke up this morning. The Lord woke me up about maybe five, four. I'm not even remembering. But I do know this. Um, these were the things that God was saying. Number one, I want to encourage everyone. Um, if you are a true, and I'm going to state that again, if you are a true believer in this hour, a follower of Christ, uh -uh, I'm talking about not just going to church, but if you are living it, walking it, talking it. Oh, excuse me. Guys. Oh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, Lord. All of a sudden, I want to sneeze. The dove is a lot. But anyway, uh, if you are walking it, talking it, believing it, you are going through because we are in testing time. And remember the week. It grows up with the tears. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you this morning. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what it is. Let me tell you something. God is not trying to break you. He's trying to build you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you've been following me, then you know my testimony. You know why I have passion. You know why I'm in action. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God has been good. Hold on. I'm not talking about no blessings. I'm talking about he kept me when people talked about me. He kept me when they mocked me. He kept me when I didn't understand what was going on he kept me when I kept questioning God if you're really with me then why am I going through this come on somebody hallelujah it gets hard sometimes it get rough sometimes and truth be told you don't have who you think you have oh y'all don't hear what I'm saying this morning so I want to encourage you be encouraged but I'm gonna tell you what you got to do because one thing I've noticed and this has been um even in my life as I'm growing and going through the process. Sometimes when we're going through stuff, we don't want to talk about no God. We don't want to hear all that. We want to know when is it going to stop? Am I going to get blessed? My financial coming or what? And I'm going to tell you what you have to do. You have to get before God, quit panicking, quit getting upset and say, God, and calm your spirit. That's it. That's the first thing I'm telling you how to get it done. Calm your spirit, get in a place by yourself. And say, God, calm my mind, calm my spirit, calm my emotions. And that's when the peace of God will come up on you. When the peace of God come up on you, then you can hear clearly the instructions of God. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God early this morning. Then you will feel and hear the spirit of God, the presence of God, the directions and instructions of God. Follow them to a T. Do not, you do not err. Do not swivel to the side. Let me tell you what's happening. A lot of people are panicking. You know, you're making sure your bills paid, your children are kept, your husband are kept, your wife. All that's a lot of pressure because we're in a pharaoh system. You can say what you want. We're in a pharaoh system. God never gave you a job. He gave you a work to do. I can break that down in scripture. So cold. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. Your work, God will make sure you get paid for. Your job, it will be wages. And guess what? Always worrying about if you got the job. Now, the difference between a work and a job, you can never get fired from your work because it's your gifts. It's your blessings. A job, it, it depends how they feel. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So let me get to how you stand. So when you have those problems, you have to be strong in the Lord. Okay, God, I hear the directions. I'm going to do exactly what you said. Do not err from it. So I'm going to tell you some keys this morning, the kingdom keys. And this is a word from God. You got to stop touching the unclean thing. In order to stay connected to God, you got to disconnect from anybody that's not with God. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's family, friends, or whatever. You got to disconnect because let me tell you something. Spirits are real. And whatever they're working with, it will come into your life. I didn't say throw people away. I didn't say bash them. I didn't say talk about them. I didn't say no, but disconnect. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Honey, everything flows through you. And it flows to you. So whoever you around, you know how they say, birds of a feather flock together. You think it's a game? Hallelujah. Because that's why some of you are going through. You're attached to something and you, I could never understand this. Maybe somebody could help me. Why do we hang around people that are not for us? Oh, I used to do it. Don't tell me. And I mean, let me tell you something. You can see it. You can see it. You can feel, but it's not authentic. Don't play with me this morning. You know when somebody for you and when somebody like you. And when you know when somebody don't because it's a cold feeling. It's not even real. Oh, don't, don't play. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know when somebody love you and you know when somebody jealous. You know when somebody don't like you. Come on, somebody. What am I saying? It's time for you to be true to you. Who don't like you, guess what? God bless them and roll on. Hallelujah. God bless you, though. You ain't got to hate nobody. You ain't got to act ugly because that's not Christ-like. 
but it's time out for pretending. It's time out for allowing people to be attached to you that's really draining you like a python spirit. Or may I say attached to a witch or a warlock. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. I'm going to tell you right now. The stuff I went through, it was hard for the last five or six years. I'm just getting the release. Don't I like y'all don't know that, the ones that's been following me. But I will tell you this. Some of that stuff I brought on myself. I saw it. I knew they were not for me. But you know how you have love in your heart? And when you have love in your heart, you will uh, you will attach your stuff, yourself to people that don't love you. Don't, oh, come on, somebody. Am I the only one up in here? You will attach yourself. You will allow yourself to be around people that actually glean from you, but you're not getting anything from them. And I'm not talking about monetary. I'm talking about encouragement, a support system, people that love you, people that flour- want you to flourish. When you are connected to witches and warlocks and people that drain you, what you think going to happen? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You want to be around people that encourage you, that loves you, that lifts you up. Now, hold on. They're going to tell you the truth, too, with your pretty self. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And with your ugly self at times. That's a true friend. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? Let me tell you something. All this matters because, excuse me, you guys, it's early this morning. I'm a little stopped up. But let me tell you something. All of this matters. In the life of a believer, you cannot flow if you're with people that are not flowing in God. That's why Jesus picked 12 disciples, right? And, but he would go by himself up on the mount and pray. You know why he did that? Father God, they still processing, but, but I, I I need, I need to touch you. I need to feel you. I need to know you got to spend time with God. People are okay. But you know, Dr. Monroe used to always tell, um, tell us. He said, I don't trust nobody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He said, I don't trust nobody. He said, I trust the will of God. And I couldn't understand that until now. Because if they're not flowing in the will of God, they are subject to do anything and say anything. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. The devil used who he used. Don't act like y'all don't know. Because there is a great falling away, whether we like it or not, or want to acknowledge it or not. That's what's happening in the body of Christ because judgment must begin in the house of God. And that's what you're seeing. So now you have a body of Christ that's not church. You have a body of Christ that's tainted. You have a body of Christ that don't know God like they used to know God. Because guess what? Everything else has become our God. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. There's a great falling away. The enemy that came into the church got people wanting everything but God. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. As a matter of fact, why don't you do a heart test? Where's your heart? Do you get up with God? Do you go to bed with God? Are you in your word? Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're on Facebook 24-7, then the answer is no. If you're on your job 24-7, then the answer is no. If you're not in your word, then the answer is no. If you're not growing in God, then the answer is no. If you don't have no Holy Ghost, the answer is no. If you ain't got no power from God, the answer is no. You don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Let nothing separate you from the love of Christ. Family, friends, it does not matter. Hallelujah. God must come first in every area of our lives. If I didn't learn anything, I learned that. I don't care who you are or what is happening. He must get the honor and the glory he deserves. We were made to worship him. Do you know how they have angels worshiping him day and night? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Saying, holy, holy, holy is the lamb. And glory, glory, glory is to God. Hallelujah. You gotta, we got to learn how to worship God in spirit and in truth. But the thing is that most people don't walk in the spirit. You got church folks cussing each other out, acting a fool on Facebook. I mean, having sex like it, it like it's Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. I'm, I, I, I want to encourage you, but I feel the Holy Ghost saying what I have to say. It's time for us to align ourselves with God, period. Not the world. Not your mother, not your father, but with God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And how do you do that? You got to be real with you. We all know what we need to work on, how we need to work on, and what we need to let go, and who we need to let go. But that's the hard part. God, you know, I don't want to be alone. And and hold on. I'm not talking about a relationship. Sometimes just with friends or, or family or people that you know you shouldn't be around. It's time for you to make some hard choices. Because guess what? This world is getting worse. It is not getting better. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't have that good news for you because the Bible says that he says, I'm I'm not come to send peace, but a sword. He's dividing everything that's not of him. Hallelujah. And devouring. If you want to know the truth, that's what y'all see in this hour. Y'all, y'all don't know this. Let me tell you something. God has literally cursed this nation. I know you don't agree, but look around. 
And then I can show you in the world, in the word, we have forgotten God as a nation. I'm talking about the world. Everybody, I mean, the world and king, they putting on fake this, fake that. That's cursing God. Because that means, oh, we don't like the way you made us, God. So we're going to put hair, booty, and everything else up. Yeah, I said how I said it. Now, everybody's trying to get a bag. What you won't do for that money. I've seen people do some strange things for that change. And I'm going to tell you right now, I pray to God, I never, I'm going to say it again, never conform to what I've seen and what I'm seeing. I cannot believe it. Good people then go on astray because they're after money. Good people then go on astray because they, they allow the enemy to overtake them. People of God, let me tell you, your most greatest asset is self-control. Learn to control your appetite. I just said some because if not, your appetite would destroy you. And I'm not talking about food. Whatever you think you want more than God, it will destroy you. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. Hallelujah. It almost destroyed me in my youth. Say what you want to say. Because the enemy then got us to where we want to be fun. Oh, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Everybody want to go on a cruise. Everybody, I'm not saying that God don't want you to rest. But I ain't never saw them have so much fun in the Bible the way y'all like to have fun. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We having so much fun to people dying. We're not on the wall. We're not praying. We're not fasting. We're not girding each other. Hallelujah. This is time to get serious. That's what time it is. Play time over with. Play time over with. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. Play time over with. People dying. This is not our world. We are just in here. Hallelujah. And supposed to be ministering. God, uh, God made us and brought us to this earth. Because remember, he says, before I form you in your mother's womb, I knew you. God allowed us to come on this earth to make a difference. We're not supposed to be just about houses, cars, and everybody want to be a star. No, we're supposed to be help saving souls, bringing souls to God. But you know what? Everybody must worry about everything else but that. And God says, go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. The enemy then came and snatched it. Hallelujah. God says, when the word is sown, he comes immediately to steal the word that was sown into your heart. Because truth, truth be told, many people love God. They just don't know how to live for God. I just said something. This is a process, and it's not easy. You will have temptation to the day you die. But God says, be encouraged, for I have overcome the world, and so should you. It's time, people. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. I feel a seriousness, even in my life. Come higher, Deanna. Come higher. There's more. There's more. And I'm not talking about no monetary gain. I'm not talking about no houses, no cars. I'm talking about seeing the power of God on this earth like never before. Because I don't know about you. I'm sick of the devil. I'm sick of the devil. I'm sick of him. He does not think he, he think he running things. He does not run nothing. God is allowing him to do what he do. Hallelujah. But it's time for the remnant to stand in power, in the presence of God. I'm not talking about no good speech, no good sermon, because that's all I'm hearing these days. Truth be told, I want to see the power of God. I want to see people saved, healed, and delivered for real. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not talking about no little um, pity pack. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the power of God for real, where most of you, and when I say most of you, I don't want you to think that I'm trying to demean you. I'm trying to challenge you. That's what I'm really doing. I'm not trying to put nobody down when I do these lives, but I must say what God says to say. Most people don't even know what the Holy Ghost is. Most people have never went out of the Holy Ghost. Now, I'm not talking about that faking, faking shake. All right, what's the faking shake? You know how they put a hand on you and you just fall out? Woo! It ain't nothing. Because when it's the Holy Ghost, and, and I'm going to give you a clue. It happened to me. Oh, my God. I wasn't ready. I tell you that man of God, Pastor Godot, Pastor Philip Godot, the, this part of who I am today too from Sacramento, California when he laid hands on me and I didn't think he had that much power I'm going to be honest with you I'm just telling the truth honey, I went out and then I tried to get up I couldn't even get up my legs felt like jelly I looked around and I said oh God, this is real I never knew most of you have never felt that feeling it's time for you to know what the Holy Ghost feels like. It's time for you to be filled with the Holy Ghost because it's a different feeling. It's better than any high. It's better than any woman. It's better than any man. You ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. This stuff surpasses human. Hallelujah. The supernatural is real. Why you think people dying? Why you think people being possessed? So it as is in the kingdom of heaven, it is in the kingdom of darkness. They possess another one. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Y'all playing with demons. 
It's time to stop playing with demons. Put them in their place. Cast them out. Hallelujah. It's time. I'm telling you what God says. And God is with you. Everybody that truly serve God, God is with you. I know it's been hard. I can feel it in the spirit. It's been real hard. But God say, I've, I've not come to break you, but to build you. Because you can't take anything. The body of Christ have got weak. Because guess what? We've allowed the enemy to take us. Yes, he did. He came in and told us, you know, y- y'all been saying, woe is me. So he brought the prosperity message. Not everybody's after money. And the crazy part is this. If you don't have no money, they think you're not blessed. Well, I can tell you this. Apostle Deanna Dixon was living from house to house and doing, I didn't have nothing. I didn't understand it. I know people was mocking me behind my back. And to be honest with you, I asked God, I said, God, what is this? If I'm an apostle, what's really going on? I can tell y'all what that was about. He wanted me to, to understand both sides. And he didn't want me to fall. He said, I want you to put me first as long as you live. Now you know what it's like to be without so treat people kind. Now you know what it's like. He says, so don't ever let um, what I bless you with overtake a who you are. I had to learn hard lessons. It was hard. My God, it was so hard. That's why I'm so humble. I mean, I went through it. If you've been following me, I went through it. I questioned myself if I was even saved. I said, Lord, what is this? So I know some of you are going through it. But I want to encourage you this morning. Don't give up. And I'm not talking about no houses and no cars. That stuff going to come. And guess what? It might go. You just never know what's going to happen. I'm saying stay with God. I'm saying be encouraged. I'm saying fill your heart. I'm saying live in peace. I'm saying don't touch the unclean thing. I'm saying be real with people. Be true to yourself. It's time for us to be honest with each other. People are dying without God because guess what? Everybody won't talk about them behind their back. Honey, I'm going to tell you to your face. I'm going to tell you to your face. And if you don't believe me, if you was my friend, close up, you'd understand. I do this for real. I love everybody, but I don't play. And guess what? You have the authority to tell me to if I'm in the wrong. Yes, you do. Because that's what we're not doing. We're not telling certain people because, oh, well, they are this. No, honey. No one is exempt. Hallelujah. From the laws of God. Hallelujah. That's what's wrong with the church today. Everybody think they're exempt. I don't care how high you are. You are not exempt. Because sin touches everybody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. People thinking that they, they can't be touched. And Jesus Christ himself was touched by his father. Are you serious? Hallelujah. So don't give up. As a lot of you are going through. Don't you dare give up. The thing is to keep faith. The enemy is after your faith. Because I'm going to be honest with you. That's what happened with me when I was getting hit so hard. And everything was just happening. My faith began to waver. But that's, that's what the enemy wants to do. You got to keep hold of that faith. Say, God, though you slay me, I trust you. Though I don't have this, I trust you. I know you're going to show up. But I think what it is is the timing. We be wanting it now. Now, God, God, sh- now, now. And just because somebody give you a now word does not mean it's now. You got to stay. Stay with God no matter what. Good, bad, happy, sad, with something, nothing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what I learned through my journey. Praise him in whatever state that you are. Hallelujah. And love people. Love people. You ain't got to be ugly to them like they're ugly to you. I just said something. Keep your heart pure. Now, that's the most valuable one that God wants. God does not like an ugly heart. You see, you look good on the outside, but an ugly heart, God hates that. I'm telling you what, I'm, what I know. Hallelujah. All that pretending and fakeness and plotting and planning. You better stop. Y'all better stop. Y'all better stop. I'm telling you what God said. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. We don't get to do that. You don't, and, and stop speaking word curses on people. Blah, blah, blah. Unless God said it, you have no authority. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you what God said. Whew, I felt the power of God. I'm telling you. I feel a shift even in my life. Something's happening. God is serious. God said the, the, the body of Christ came in power. We're going out in power. The enemy cannot stop us. Yes, he can, he can delay us. <laughs> but he can't stop us. And the only reason he can delay it is that everything has to be allowed by God. Never forget, the enemy is acting like he has all power. No, he doesn't. Luke 10, 19 says, we have all power. Start using your authority. Start walking in your authority, said the Lord. A lot of you, as soon as you get hit, you, you back up. As soon as you get hit, you get your back up. As soon as you get hit, you get back. No, we don't run from, we run to it. What? What, devil? What? 
Now, here's, here's the last thing I've got to tell you. And this is where people are falling. You got to get in that word. Y'all, let me tell you something. I got sick yesterday. I don't know why. It was just so much stuff going on. And I tell you, I still had to get in my word. I still had to get up early, get in the word. We're still fasting. You won't last if you don't fast. I'm telling y'all, I tried it. I tried it my way. It does not work because your spirit must be stronger than your flesh. Hallelujah. And you got to get in the word. Jesus used the word. I dare ever less one of y'all to challenge me. Jesus used the word. That's how he whipped Satan. He didn't use his opinion. He didn't use no good sermon. He used the word of God. Hallelujah. That's why you got to get that word in you. You got to combat him with the word of God. The devil don't care about your opinion, what you think, what you feel. You have to tell him it is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's how you hit that food. Hallelujah. So if some of you are getting weak, you're not speaking that word. God says some of you are getting weak. You're not fasting. You got to do it. You have no choice in this hour, men and women of God. We don't get to just do like the world do. The world wants to have fun. As a matter of fact, they've been, they was doing that with Sodom and Gomorrah. They was having sex. Oh, sound familiar. They was getting high, having fun, drink. Sounds familiar. It should, because all we did was go back around. You don't notice the signs of the times and everything. All we did was come back around. They doing the same thing they did in the Egyptian times, in the beginning. And it's socially be the end, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And you right, Kara. I hope I'm saying your name right. There is a difference when you fast and pray. Hallelujah. So I pray that you are encouraged. Be encouraged. It's time for us to get stronger in the Lord. I'm telling you, these devils think they're running things. And God is not pleased. God has equipped us. And those tests, those tests are to build you, not to break you. To bring out character, integrity, and power from the Holy Ghost. To truth be told, let's be honest. It was when you fell that you got closer to God. And you realize that all you had was God. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking for real now. Because you know people will leave you in a heartbeat. Hello? Somebody playing? So God bless you. Be encouraged. That, that's, that's the main thing I want y'all to hear. Be encouraged. I know it gets hard. And I know some of you feel alone. You are not alone. You are not alone, God says. He loves you. Hallelujah. So be encouraged and do not compare yourself with everybody else. That's another thing. I don't know who this is for. Stop comparing. You know, sometimes we watch other people with God, blah, 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 blah. Your turn coming. What God has for you, no one can get. Hallelujah. I think it's the time and we be wanting it fast, quick and in a hurry. But can I tell you something? Sometimes you think you're ready and you're not. Because with blessings come warfare extreme warfare y'all ain't ready for me up in here everybody want the blessings but everybody can't stand that warfare hallelujah y'all don't hear me up in here that's why i get up the way i do that's why i train the way i do that's why i pray the way i do that warfare be on me heavy that's what happened yesterday soon after i did that event i'm not kidding i was incapacitated yesterday i was sick the whole day i'm talking about sick they had to help me sick people had to help me and I was like, wait a minute. I was just kidding the night before what happened. Enemy got mad. And do you know how I broke that sickness? I had to um, bathe in anointing oil. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And then it broke. Boom. Hallelujah. This stuff real. So God keep you. God bless you. It's just stay strong, people. God, it's almost over. You might not believe it. It's almost over. But not yet, said the Lord. Hallelujah. We're supposed to be ministering to each other, forgiving each other, loving each other. And the, the, the line is being drawn in the sand. Who are you serving for real? Stop playing with God. If you're going to serve the devil, then just go ahead on that side. Quit playing. God hates that. If you're going to serve God, serve God. But all this back and forth, stop that. Either you're going to be in sin, then sin. If you're not, then don't. Hallelujah. It's just time to stop being fake. Be real with God. See, the world, they see that little pretty smile and hallelujah and all that stuff. Then in closed doors, you show your real self. God sees everything. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stay strong in the Lord because this stuff is hot out here. 
<laughs> Y'all think it's a game, huh? The devil is after us. He's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm going to end it with this. He knows he has but a short time. And so he's trying to take as many as he can to hell with him. And I pray you don't go. Hell is real. His greatest deception is to make people think that he's not real. Always remember that. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.